Hello, this is Rhett Lane. You can't really see me because I'm looking at the computer. Um, <clears throat> but I have a book. Actually, I have my book right here. Boom! National Geographic's Angry Birds Furious Forces. It's a book. You might like it. See? There's cool stuff in here. Okay. Um, it's got Angry Birds. It's got physics. It's got awesome stuff. Okay, so in the book, uh, what I do is I try to use uh, Angry Birds and other interesting things that you can do to show you some cool physics things. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you something cool using Angry Birds and physics. Awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> let me first show you, uh, this is Angry Birds, right? I think you've seen that before, and I have it on my computer. It's actually, you can run it uh, in Google Chrome, so there's no excuse not to play Angry Birds. Uh, and what we want to do is look at the velocity going both this way and this way. So how do you, I have a new way to calculate velocity. Okay, let me show you first what I have built here. So I cut out a two centimeter wide strip on this card, and that's it. And so what I'm gonna do is use this to measure distance in this game. Now, how would I calculate velocity? Let me show you an equation. Boom, look at that. <clears throat> so average velocity, in, if I'm talking about up and down in the y direction, is going to be this triangle thing. We put that there because we like it. But it really, it's a Greek symbol, delta, which means change. It says, how far did it go in the y? What's the change in y? What's the change in time? Okay. And, and I'm going to show you, this will be used something later. But acceleration is how does the velocity change? So it's the change in velocity or change in time. So how do we measure velocity at different times? Well, here is my delta y, 2 centimeters. Delta t is going to be frame numbers in the video. I can just count frames. Each frame is the same. In this case, it's 1 30th of a second, about. Okay, so we can, but it doesn't really matter. And nothing really matters exactly. Okay, well, let's go back to Angry Birds. So here we are. What I did was I captured a video. Um, there's lots of ways you can do this. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll post this video if you want to use this one too. And so, this is just a simple level, and I launched the bird at different angles. But here, I've launched, I'm launching it at a, at a lower angle. And I'm going to measure the horizontal velocity. Okay, so you could write this down, but I'm going to show you that you don't need to. So here's the plan. So I take my little measurer and I put it so I can just see the bird. And now I'm going to go forward a frame with the arrow key until I can't see the bird. And I'm going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 frames. So delta t is 12. And Delta x is 2 centimeters, so I, the, the velocity would be in the x direction, 2 over 12. But the number doesn't matter. Let's do it again. I'm going to move it again so it's right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, there was, there was a, a frame that doubled. It happens because of the capturing thing. Uh, so let's do it again. That was 14. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's the same as before. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the time it takes to go this 2 centimeters is always 12 frames. The, that means the velocity in this direction is constant. Okay? You can try this on your own, and you should. Okay, now let's look at the vertical velocity. I'm going to use a different, um, let's go back. I'm going to use this higher shot just because it'll be easier. Uh, it's not moving so far. Let's see, go back, 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 back. Okay, use the scroll button. I'm making this video too long. I don't like long videos. Okay. So I'm going to write these down and I'll post them on my blog at uh, dot physics. But let's just see how you do this. So here's the first one. I'm going to start with them right at the bottom, and now measuring up and down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I write down 11. Now I'm going to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, 11 again. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. 13. 
why is it taking longer to go that two centimeters? That's because if the time is increasing over here, if delta t is increasing but that's the same, that's going to make this smaller, right? If you take a longer time to go there, you're going to get, so the, the y velocity is getting lower. Okay, that was 13. Now let's do the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14. Do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So as the bird goes up, the velocity is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It has a vertical acceleration. It's accelerating down. Okay, I won't, I'm going to leave this as a homework assignment for you because if I skip forward to at the highest point, you can't do it at the highest point because um, it, might, it might go up and then down in between two. So you want to start with it already going down. So it's going down and now I can do the same thing. I can start with the, the top and then I'm going to frame forward until it's all the way out of view and you can calculate that. And I'm going to make you a spreadsheet and some, some tables so you can write down what you get and you can calculate the velocity and you can see what happens to the velocity. And there's something really cool that you're going to find out. You're going to find out that the velocity change between these is about the same each time. That means it's constant vertical acceleration. In Angry Birds, just in a game. I can't see my face, so I'm using my hands. Okay, so here's the book again. Angry Birds Furious Forces. Check it out. Check out, I'll have a blog post with more details on this and you can play with Angry Birds.